Magandang araw mga Pet Pals. Ako pa rin si Doc Harold Gray de Manisip, ang Brand Manager ng Pet Options. And welcome dito sa ating episode na Training 101. No, we talked to the owner regarding sa background ng aso nila. Pag sinabi nila na hindi nakalabas for some one year, we consider it na yes, yes may behavior problem better, na. Better get ready na. Yeah. So, we don't, first approach namin is, uh, of course, to drain the energy. So, most dogs na kung hindi nakalabas for a very long time sa, 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 sa cage, like si Volt, is very defensive. Because it lacks socialization, and, the uh, energy. Hindi siya, na, hindi siya na present sa yeah. iba't ibang stimulus. stimulus. And the energy has no release. And you're going to observe sa loob ng cage, yung mga toy, sira, yung mga uh, bowl, food bowls, yupi. It's because mm. out of frustration. Mm. And they bark a lot, they whine a lot. Mm. Because if the dog is frustrated, the behavior will channel into barking. Mm. That's where you have a... Uh, and I think, yeah. sir, yung, yung barking nga is a moderate case. Pero pag yung chinanel niya yung excess energy niya sa biting, sa, then growling, then that's, a, that's a, one of the severe cases ng ano, frustration. Yes. And you'll see a bad effect. We've seen a lot of... It depends sa, sa aso. And iba-ibang level ng aso ma, maapektuhan if it cage for a long time. But most of them... They get very, very defensive, and uh, some of them very aggressive. Okay. So, uh, ayun mga kapet pals, alam nyo na kung ano yung epekto ng uh, dog na hindi pinapalabas, hindi sinasocialize, na dyan lang <coughs> sa cage nila. ba? Diba? Alam ko marami na kayong cases ng ganyan. Yes. So, uh, nakokorek naman natin yan. Uh, for, we, we call it a behavioral modification of... Uh, Behavioral modification or uh, rehabilitation. At it's 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 a um, it's a long term training actually, oh. and the owner needs to be firm. No, because mm. there are cases that wrong dog of choice, and yung yung aso, ma overpower niya yung owner in terms of strength. No, mm. so but after the rehab the behavior correction. They're the most sweetest. They're the uh, most sweetest so. dog. Or they, the owner need will need to continue yung routine on a daily basis, like walking. Walking actually is a primal activity for the dog. Yeah. So, marami yung aso na nagbabago yung, yung behavior with walking. Because you can easily correct a tired dog. Yes, sir. And, no? and I think, sir, no, one of the causes na sa mga ganyan, <coughs> sa mga aso na, na long term sa cage, Uh, one of the co- uh, causes ng behavior problems nila is they don't have any any experiences with humans. The only yes. experience they have is that feeding, uh, paglinis ng cage, yun lang. Wala na silang connection sa household. No so, connection. Uh, that is the other factor kung bakit mahirap i-rehabilitate or i-modify yung behavior ng isang aso na may, na may um, uh, I mean, uh, sa, na long term na sa loob lang ng cage. Parang preso na. Mm, parang preso na siya. And actually, Doc, if, if, if going back, because like sa previous episode, we're talking about dogs, they're social animal. Like human beings, we need to socialize. If you imagine, dyan ka sa cage, for, sa prison for a long time, what, what, what did you feel? I mean, dogs, they're sentient being. So you need to be responsible. To get a dog, first is to Uh, uh, check your lifestyle. Assess your lifestyle. Your energy levels. Your commitment. Your commitment before you get a dog. So that's where the the, the cage in the crates. It's, it's negative for the dog. It's because the owner at first they're not really committed for the dog. So uh, the, the, the last resort is cage sa lang yan. Kasi mm-hmm. makulit, aggressive siya. They create a habit because first thing, if you get a dog, it's it's a lifetime duty. Tapos commitment mo. May advantages and disadvantages yung uh, cage. Actually, dapat uh, sa sinabi ni Sir Paul, may balance lang lahat. May yeah. oras para sa lahat. May habit tayo. Uh, once in a while, ila- ipapalabas yung aso. And uh, tandaan ninyo, sinabi ni Sir Paul kanina, it's a temporary shelter for the dog, yung cage. Hindi po yan 
you have yung buhay niya nandyan siya. Yeah. Because that might uh, be the cause of yes. any behavioral problems. Yes. So, ayun. Kapit Pals, abangan niyo naman yung sunod na episode natin dito lang sa Training 101.